Hey, Bruce Naylor here, your boomer consumer. I'm not a happy camper with Apple right now. I'll explain to you why in this video. Now, I currently happen to have a 2018 Mac Mini, 16 or 32 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage, and a Core i7 with six cores. It's a nice desktop machine, but the one thing that holds it back is the built-in internal graphics aren't that great. However, uh, using an eGPU over Thunderbolt 3 vastly improves the performance. In fact, uh, when the uh, Mac Mini launched, Blackmagic was there with their external graphics processing unit, or eGPU, and uh, it's actually still for sale on the Apple website for around $700, and that came with the Radeon 580 Pro. Uh, so I happen to have a Radeon 480, or yeah, the Radeon uh, RX 480 GPU. I had one of those laying around, so I thought, sweet, I'll save some money. I'll use that with an eGPU. I bought the Razer Core X, and it worked brilliantly uh, with Mojave. So when Apple launched OS X Catalina, I upgraded without really any hesitation. That was a big mistake and a mistake for a lot of people that are using setups just like mine. They're using graphics cards with the Polaris architecture. Now, mind you, we can't use NVIDIA, so they're out of the ball game. Well, it turns out uh, that apparently, and from what I can gather, uh, during the installation of Catalina, some firmware changes are made to the Mac Mini. And because of that, when you go to boot now, instead of getting to the desktop, you're just greeted with a black display that says no signal. For me, that's the case. Sometimes I get a black screen with little purple uh, lines through, <laughs> through it, but I can't boot to the desktop anymore. The workaround, uh, and sometimes this works and sometimes it uh, doesn't even do that is to connect your display directly to the Mac Mooney, uh, Mac Mini. Mac Mooney, you like that? The Mac Mini, then let it boot into the desktop, then start up the eGPU, and then connect to your Mac Mini that way. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Now there's been two more updates to OS X Catalina. 10.15.1 and 10.15.2. And neither one of those address the situation with us using Polaris-based graphics cards. So the real solution for the long term, as of now, is to buy a newer graphics card. So you need to replace that far uh, that RX 580, that RX 4, 480. Uh, you got to replace those with either Vega, yeah, with a Vega or better graphics card from from AMD. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to buy. And I'll probably be looking at a Vega 64 video card for the eGPU, but it makes me wonder when Apple is going to address this problem. They're still actively selling the, uh, the eGPU from Blackmagic for 700 bucks with an RX 580 in it, even though uh, basically it really won't work off the bat with the Mac Mini. Even, and the thing is that the Mac Mini, one of the sales tactics Apple has is it's great for video professionals. Well, not all of us have access to buying state-of-the-art graphics card, Apple. Why would you take something that was working and then break it and not a peep from Apple about it? It's like, we don't care. Um, that just adds to the Apple tax, in my opinion. It's working in one version of the operating system. You break it the second and haven't done anything to fix it. That is something Apple, I believe, is keeping a secret. But believe me, there's a lot of people out there in the forums complaining loud and clear that they need to fix this. I, for one of them, I don't see a need to go out there and spend hundreds of dollars more for another GP when it was working just fine under, uh, under Mojave. So that is what I wanted to talk to you about in this video. Oh, yes, my hand here. Well, I got a pet cat. We were playing. He still got his claws. I lost. He won the fight. <laughs> Bruce Naylor, your boomer consumer. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.